Got her own money, she don't need no nigga on the dance floor She had two, three drinks, now she twerking She throw it out and come back in That's my best friend, she a real bad bitch Drive her own car, she don't need no lift in a strip club Know my girl gon' tip, now she twerking She throw it out and come back in Beep, beep, is that my bestie in a taxi? Fresh blowout, skin on town, she ready Bitch, you look but what a T at the end I'm a hyper every time, not my motherfucking friend She been down since the jellies and the bobos now we stepping out the G, I'm the nut house. Ass up, you could look up, touch. And I'm bad, us and bands every time we link up. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than broke, broke, broke. Hi guys, it's Angi and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a travel prep slash like a vacation prep vlog. And before I tell you guys where I'm going and what we are getting ready for, I want to talk a little bit about the first step that you saw in my morning routine because you probably have a little bit of questions about it if you've never heard about the brand. And at the start of this vlog, you saw me drinking my AG1 by Athletic Greens. I've been taking AG1 for the past week and I just do it every morning when I wake up on an empty stomach. And if you're not familiar with AG1, it is basically an all-in-one foundation nutrition drink taking my ag one minute is so convenient and easy and that's why i absolutely love it it's something that i can't skip every morning all you have to do is add a scoop of your powder to 8 to 12 ounces of water shake it up and you are good to go in one scoop it has nine health products in one it promotes gut health it supports your immunity it's going to give you your daily boost of vitamin c zinc and healing mushrooms and another reason that i love taking AG1 is that it provides nutrients that support and sustain healthy energy levels. Your girl is always freaking tired. So that is one key benefit that I'm looking for. This is not a pre-workout or post-workout drink. If I could describe the taste, it would be water mixed with like flour. Like it, it doesn't taste like anything. And so I had absolutely no problems whatsoever with consuming this beverage. You can choose to keep your AG1 in like the actual pouch that they sent you, or you can transfer it to this little canister right here. And you are supposed to refrigerate it after opening. So so that is what I do. You can't put a price tag on your own health. So if you guys are interested in trying AG1 by Athletic Greens, make sure to tap my link down below in the description bar to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Thank you so much to AG1 for partnering with me on this video and let's get into the rest of the vlog. So earlier this morning, as you guys saw, I went to the gym and that is 100% a part of my travel prep, vacation prep is working out because I like to keep my body looking good when I go on vacation. It just sucks that like when I slack too much and then I have a trip come up, I'm like, should have been in the gym sooner but i actually didn't know about this trip until like a few days ago i am going on a brand trip with 
PLT and we are going to Las Vegas. This would have been my second if the other one panned out in Hawaii, but we weren't able to go because of like um, all the stuff going on in Hawaii right now. But I'm really excited about Vegas. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do a few of my errands that I've already done. And then when I come back, we're gonna like try on some clothes. We're gonna open some packages and then I'm gonna come back to a few unboxings and then we have to pack, which is the most important step. Yeah, and I'll catch you guys back after we finish running these errands. It's like six right now. I wanted to be done packing at six, but I'm so glad I started my day early. Otherwise, it would be like 10 o'clock right now and I'd be trying to pack. My wig that I wanted to wear in Vegas, the stylist is actually gonna have to ship that to the hotel that we're staying at because she couldn't ship it out to me um, yesterday in time. That's the only thing that I'm like iffy about for this trip is because like I wanted my hair done already so I could do like TikToks tomorrow. I'm gonna be vlogging for you guys tomorrow. And but we'll see. You guys will see in my next vlog how I pull off whatever I pull off tomorrow. But I did get my new mirror from Amazon in the mail yesterday, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks. I think this is where I want to put it right now. And this is some of my donation stuff. So I'm just gonna move this because there's more donation stuff behind the couch and either put this in the den or behind the couch. I can't be without you, baby. I actually realized that I did have pompous grass vase by the door, so I just put it here. I'm sh I feel like it's a little bit too white. I might need the sand or tan colored pompous grass. This mirror, like I'm speechless. It looks so good. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. I knew that it wasn't gonna be big enough, but I feel like it kind of looks short. 
but my TV is actually like really high and don't mind all of this it's some of the stuff that I'm taking with me but my TV is actually kind of high and this is a what is this a 75 inch TV I don't think I've even really shown you guys like my living room because I've never really like been vlogging while I've been in my living room but I cannot believe that it took me a year to put a mirror in my freaking apartment and you would think because I try on clothes for a living that a full body mirror would be a priority I just was living off of like the over the wall over the wall the over the door mirrors that you can like buy for like ten dollars that like go in your dorm I, I don't know what I was thinking and I'm so sick like my lease is about to be up. I'm still deciding on whether I'm going to renew or am I possibly moving somewhere. I don't know. Y'all gotta stay tuned to see. But I love this apartment so much. I absolutely love my apartment. Like right now, it's not the cleanest. It's okay right now. But um, there was still so much I wanted to do with this place that I haven't gotten to do. And I just love this. It really ties my living room together. I just wish I had a, a painting. I feel like that's the only thing that I'm missing in my living room is the two paintings that I wanted on the wall. But I feel like it's not worth it if I'm only here for two more months. But I need to show you guys some new pieces that I got from Rebob. I haven't tried them on yet. And I need to know whether or not some of these fits work for some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing next week. Alright guys, so this is the first outfit right here. The Revolve website has such a huge variety and they asked me if I wanted to pick out some items. So I was like, yes, of course. So I was trying to pick out more like pieces that I wouldn't normally wear and that I could like style for looks. I picked this out to go to like a concert. I was thinking I could wear this to the Burna Boy concert next week. I feel like it's giving like a little Y2K moment. This was just such a unique piece that I haven't seen on anyone. So I wanted to get it and see if I could pull it off. I really really like the wash yeah the skirt is actually a little bit stretchy it's a little bit big for me but hear me out this might like such a cute look like my hair isn't done and everything like that but let me know if you guys see the vision this is the next outfit that i got this two-piece set i think they were sold separately i picked this stuff out at the end of june this was gonna be my fit for the fourth of july i felt like this is a cute summer fit i can still wear it for other things and i actually really really like this set i feel like you can dress this up or down with heels it is crochet material it's a really sturdy material and it's not see-through i feel like this is like a higher quality crochet item i actually really like what it's doing for my behind and if you haven't heard of revolve they have like they have more higher end pieces and brands on their site so you when you order from them i feel like you know you're gonna get quality okay so next i picked out this two-piece set right here it says angel on it it has some angel wings on the back and it says angel that part is so sexy this is a really really stretchy set so i feel like you can size down in it i can actually probably fit in extra extra small there's so much room in this but your girl is about to be gaining some weight i feel like i'm always telling you guys that and it's because my weight goes up and down the top is really really stretchy as well um i just think that this is really cute you can get away with wearing this as a casual set or a going out set but it actually kind of looks cute with this headband as well this headband is from Princess Polly, by the way. This is the next Revolve top that I picked out and I am absolutely in love. This top just screams summer to me. I love the cut. I love the color pattern on this as well, especially how one strap is yellow, one strap is blue. I just think it looks really, really cute. And I can't wait to style this, probably with a pair of flared out jeans or something like that. If I had a strapless bra, I might wear it with this one just to give my boobs a bit of a push. I feel like that would look really, really sexy in this top. The back of this top is a halter top. Yeah, I feel like I was low on some unique summer looking tops. I always love implementing color in my wardrobe, so this is a really good pickup for me. The last Revolve item are these cute pair of silver heels. I have like a sparkly pair of silver heels, so I really wanted to pick one out um, just to have this staple heel in my closet, but it's not a basic at all because the heel has like this link pattern that is so cute. I'm gonna leave my Revolve links down below in the description box for everything that I just showed you um, in case you guys wanna shop anything. So now I have a few other packages to show you guys. I'm gonna start with Amazon because I did shop on Amazon Prime Day. That mirror was one of the things that I got. I forgot that I purchased this. 
I bought some fake tulips. I think I was watching like TikToks about like Amazon stuff you need or like Amazon kitchen or bathroom decor. They don't smell too good, but they actually look pretty real. Comment down below how you guys feel about these, if they actually do look pretty real. This is pompous grass that I got from Home Goods that I need a vase that's big enough with these. It doesn't look too bad. Now I'm gonna have to get one of the like clear bases for the tulips, the ones that look like it's like, you can put like water in it. I'll just put it up on the screen. But I got a, like an over the sink drying rack. Again, I've been wanting this forever. I just like procrastinated because I wasn't sure on the sizing. No, it has to go like this. This looks too, I mean, I guess it's not that long. I'll be seeing if I keep it or not. I always see this on TikToks um, when I watch cleaning videos and stuff. It's like an over the sink drying rack. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but back there, like I wash certain kinds of my dishes so they dry on the side. So instead of that, they would just dry over the sink and I put them away. I also got I also got new bathroom shelves for my shower. And I held off on these because in my shower I have like a little like um cubby thing where I do store my body washes and stuff but like I do feel like I have more now so I wanted to get one of these to arrange them but I also bought a steamer I I normally do not steam my clothing before I go out that's why I try to make it a point to hang up my clothes that need to be hang like when I get them out the dryer and not leave them piled on my bed because then they will wrinkle but a steamer is definitely something you should have in your home I did just have to steam an outfit that I wore to an event last month my old steamer is very like entry level steamer it was probably like under $15 and stuff like that and it does work but it doesn't really get the job done that quickly and I feel like this steamer is going to be so much more of an upgrade I didn't want to like spend a ton of money on a steamer honestly because it's just a steamer is going to be in my coat closet anyway i won't see it half the time so i'm going to try this out let you guys know i mainly got it so i can steam my entire rack of clothes that i still have to put up on depop you guys only saw like what maybe an eighth of the stuff that i'm like giving away and then i have a whole depop rack of clothes that i'm selling and then some stuff for the homeless shelter so i have homeless shelter i need to find a group of girls to donate to here in atlanta that need some clothing and this, if you are one of those people i just hit me up on instagram i'm gonna be trying to like meet up somewhere in like a safe location and do like i don't know if i would even call it like a pop-up shop but just like have them on a rack and stuff so you guys can see choose and stuff i have a bunch of shoes so if you're this is gonna be like if you're my size so, so if you're a size i'll see how much energy i have um in case i am like moving it might be a lot but like maybe in august might be a good yeah it's going back to school oh my god August, no you heard it here i'm gonna do a back to school um donation drive and i might get some of my friends to donate some of their old clothes too so you guys can have more sizes to choose from some, you guys might not care but i got some gloves and i think these are black and i needed some gloves just for cleaning around the house i they're black like this i think like chefs use black ones i did not want to get the blue ones i don't want to feel like i'm at a hospital at home but like there was like the white ones or something like that but i just i just got black um i'm gonna use them for cooking like when i touch raw meat and stuff and then also cleaning around the house i have yellow dishwashing gloves from when I wash dishes now. Like I just wanna protect my hands as much as possible because your hands do age faster. I feel like your your hands is where you can really tell your age. Like even if your face looks young, and I feel like I'm gonna look like a little bit childish forever. I'm starting to like wear sunscreen on my hands now when I can remember. So there's a little tidbit for you. TikTok light for taking pictures with your phone. So it looks like this, it's the mini version. And this is actually my second light. I got this light as well, thinking this was the original TikTok light. I'm not sure if it is. I think there was two going around. So this one does get super bright. I leave the like orange tint on here. So it gives me like a yellow tint when I take pictures. I don't really like like just pure white light. I don't think it really suits my skin like that. This one I got to take with me to Vegas because I can put this in my purse. So we're gonna be doing a lot of moving around and I don't think this is gonna fit in any of my bags. And this is perfect because it looks like I have to charge this. This one has a charging port. So if you are on a budget, I would recommend getting this smaller one, but if you aren't, I would recommend getting both. So this one you can take with you like more so on the go and maybe if you wanna take 
pictures downstairs at night or if you have a bigger bag you can pack this one and it comes with like a clip you can clip it on your phone if you want to do like selfies with it and it says let's see if it has any charge okay it has some charge right now so this is it on my face right now this is the setting with both white and yellow light um let me see how i get to the this is just pure white i don't i don't really like that it doesn't look bad though i feel like maybe for like instagram selfies the all white might be good and then this is just all yellow. A girl like me, may I like to look, may I like to look melanated. Oh, and it gets brighter. Oh my freaking goodness. Just, if you are interested in taking pictures at all, even if you don't do it like for content purposes, definitely get this one. Like I can literally, let me turn this off. If I charge it, I can literally fit this in my small bag. Um, unless you want to bring your clip with you. I really want to show you guys how bright this one gets. I found the battery for this one. Okay, uh, okay. It's definitely, yeah. This is even it at the the lowest. This was at 50%. It definitely does get way more brighter than that small one. You can take this little thing off and leave it as just white light. I just don't feel like, like I'm saying that white is that flattering, but whoa! Don't look directly into the light. <laughs> We cannot escape, we cannot get out. Mama, we're shopping out this bumbo. <laughs> nah, that's my one of my favorite TikTok sounds right now. But my PLT package from UPS arrived. I was so nervous because I feel like UPS always plays with my packages. Like they'll come and knock and not leave it and say I wasn't home. But I was home and then I won't get my package till the next day. And that could not happen because obviously we're going on a payload thing brand trip. So I'm going to be wearing PLT the entire trip, taking pictures in my outfits and stuff like that. They gave us um, a clothing budget so I was able to shop online and pick out a bunch of stuff. So I have four packages here and I'm not going to try all this stuff on. I'm just going to like put it on my bed so you guys can kind of see what I got. There's really no reason for me to try this stuff on anyways because if you watch, if you're gonna watch my Las Vegas vlog, you'll be actually able to see me with it on, with makeup, and actually catch the vibe. So there's no point in me double trying it on. Before I did that, I forgot I did wanna show you guys a few things I got from TJ Maxx. So I ended up getting the black suitcase, the Traveler's Choice that you guys saw. So this is gonna be my checked bag for tomorrow. And I actually like it a lot, it's so cute. Like, but I honestly don't know why I didn't go for black before. Like, my last suitcase was pink. But I just don't know why I didn't do all black. Like, it just looks so chic. But I got a new shower bag as well. I feel like whenever I go into TJ Maxx, I end up picking out a bag like this. Like, there's no reason that I have so many of these. I am going to be giving those away. Like, I have already put, like, a few of them in my packs for the homeless. Because it's like, girl, I do not need all of these. But I thought this would be so cute for summer. And then I got this um, Soap and Glory like body butter and I'm going to be taking this with me because I, I put on lotion after the shower. I don't know if everyone does that. Some people might not need it but I always have to put on lotion after the shower and I mix my lotion with oils too like all the time ever since I was younger. But I needed a lotion. At home I use Jergens and then a bunch of different oils like whatever I'm feeling. But when I travel I get like a lotion like this so it can just like fit in a bag um, because my Jergens is too big to travel with. These are just more convenient and like while I'm on a trip I don't mind not using like a Jergens or something like that. And this is body So I finally finished unpackaging everything and it's actually a lot of stuff. Funny thing is when I finished with my car, I realized that I picked out a lot of green, brown, and like neutral stuff. Um, This is the one thing that did surprise me though. I thought this was going to be like more shimmery than it was. Like I'll put a picture on the screen. I thought it was going to be like diamonds kind of but it's more so like beads but i'll see what it looks like at nighttime with the flash if i sew in a packet because this is actually a really heavy dress and i thought i was going to be doing the most with this but i was like i kind of wanted a pop out outfit but i'm going to link some of the stuff that i love without even trying it on and you guys will be able to see a lot more of this stuff in my vegas vlog when i actually wear it if you guys are interested to see what these pieces look like on i know for sure 
I'm going to love this swimsuit. Like the top is so cute. This is actually a really, really great beach bag. It's so sturdy. These are the four pairs of heels I picked out for this trip. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the stuff that I got in the mail. I'm going to go ahead and eat my next meal. I haven't eaten since breakfast in the morning at like 12, which is really bad considering the fact that I'm trying to get thick in like one or two days. Well, I mean, the trip is tomorrow now. No more time. But I'll see you guys when it's time for like skincare and like a wind down routine for my trip. All right guys, so I like to take really good care of my skin one to two days before I travel. So I really do an extensive skincare routine. So my skin is actually not too bad right now. I just have a little bit of acne. My main acne is when I get hormonal acne, so it's not too bad right now. And I do have dark marks. And the day before this, I did get my eyebrows threaded as well. So we're gonna be starting off with our legs today. I'm using the Vite Sensitive Formula. I usually use the Nair Sensitive in the Shower Formula, but they were out of stock. Whenever you use a hair removal cream, you absolutely do not want to rub it in. I'm just putting a light layer on, rubbing it in can cause it to burn, and you only want to leave this on for 10 minutes, which is why I'm doing it before I start my skincare, just so that by the time we are all done, I'll be ready to clean this off. And this will get all over your hands, so if you do prefer to use gloves, you can, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hands before we start washing our face. I currently use the Pharmacy Whip Greens Cleanser, but I also have two other cleansers. I don't use my Dr. Dennis Gross cleanser daily, but I will use my Fresh Soy cleanser when I wanna double cleanse, so I'll use this as the first step whenever I wear makeup. So I'm just gonna put my hair up and get started. I do have a silicone brush that I use for my face and it does vibrate and I'm gonna show you guys this later. But I actually do really love the Pharmacy Whip Greens Cleanser. It really does a great job of cleaning my skin and my skin actually really, really loves this stuff. This is probably in my top five favorite cleansers that I own. So the vibrating brush, I do go ahead and use this after I rub in my cleanser with my hands first and I'm just making sure to really, really clean my face and get out any dirt so i'm going to be taking one of my face toilets and these are actually a game changer they are so soft on the skin and they dry your face really really quickly i prefer these over using a towel just because it's less bacteria but you can also use face towels as long as you only use them once or twice and just put them in the hamper now i'm going to be doing a face mask i always like to do a mask before i travel just to really um, take good care of my skin and give my skin some extra love that it usually doesn't get during the week um, I honestly should be doing a mask once a week But I just tend to do them when I travel But maybe I'll make this a more routine step in my skincare I do have popsicle sticks and a mask applicator But today I'm just using my hands just because it's faster and I want to hurry up and go to sleep so we're gonna leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes and go back and take off our hair remover cream because it's been 10 minutes now. You do not wanna exceed 10 minutes with this stuff because it can start to burn. And I like taking mine off with a face cloth that I have that is not meant for my face. So this is an old face cloth that I'm using. I just put it under hot water and you just slide it over your legs and the hair comes right off. There is also like a hair removal tool that they give you, but it's really so small and it takes so much longer and I find that this is actually easier and I feel like it's less abrasive to take off the hair removal cream with a rag so after that I'm going to go ahead and use a sugar scrub on my legs this is the vitamin c sugar scrub from tree hut and this stuff actually smells really good and does a great job of exfoliating your skin you can choose to do this step before you shave your legs I just like doing it after and before this I also did wash off the hair remover cream with some body wash. I think I just skipped that step. So now that our legs are done, we're gonna go ahead and wash off that mask and my face feels really clean. Now we're gonna go ahead with our toner. This is a toner I use from Good Molecules. I like using niacinamide on my skin 
this is the dr dennis gross peel um, it's a daily peel but i go ahead and use this only like once every three days until my skin gets used to it but i don't think i would use a peel on my face daily i also opted to get the sensitive formula when they asked to send me pr but now i kind of wish i did go ahead for like the middle one just because i feel like my skin is my skin is not all that sensitive but i just wanted to be careful because it's my first time trying it but i really do like that product a lot now i'm going in with the sunday riley good jeans lactic acid treatment it's like an all-in-one treatment and it has more than just lactic acid in it i really like what this does for my face and i love using this when i'm trying to reset my skin if i have any problems next i'm going in with a vitamin c serum from image skincare and if you don't have vitamin c in your skincare routine you need to add it now it has so many good benefits for your skin and this brand of serum i actually really really like it a lot like it really softens my skin upon like the touch i have a few moisturizers but today i'm going in with my tatcha dewy skin and i just like to make sure my skin is extra extra moisturized before i go ahead and get on a plane just because the air in the plane can kind of throw your skin off and after this i'm actually going to be icing my skin and i made sure to look up online if i should do this before or after and they said icing your skin after actually helps to like set the products and help your skin absorb the product so i'm actually trying this out for the first time i have iced my skin many times before but i've usually done it after face wash before i put on like my face products so i just decided to try this out for the first time to see how i like it so i really went ham with the icing i think i did it for about one to two minutes just to really get it in there and now i'm gonna let it dry your skin will actually take a little bit longer to dry just because you have a face full of products but i feel like it's so worth it because as you guys can see my face just looks so glowy and revived i'm going in with a lip mask from aceology and that is the last and final step to my skin and body care routine i will take a shower in the morning before my flight but that is it i'm just showing you guys my skin let me know how you guys feel about everything that you saw in this video thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i will see you guys in my next vlog when we are on our way to las vegas with pretty little thing catch you guys later she lacking on her palm, the ain't Fuck up the whip, what the fuck up range Me and them niggas in the same Tap on, make it rain, make it rain I might lose my face, but I gotta keep the cool Cause they know my face I heard a big boy name, but it's it She lacking on her palm, the ain't